Welcome back everyone to the NASCAR YouTube Firefix Cup Series. I am Trinum 94 race number four here at Homestead, Miami. We got quite the uh, grid and I would assume quite the race. Duty 24 is on the front row next to Bubba Wallace. John Ross Stein is touched next to seven time Jimmy Johnson. His last win here was 2016 when he won his seventh championship. Then we have Truex next to back marker Timmy Hill. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. Brad Kozlowski and Eric Jones round out row four. Christopher Bell, last race's winner. Starts next to Gannis Post, the third YouTuber in the series. And then just to go a little further on back, 2019 NASCAR Cup champion, Kyle Busch. It appears he starts 14th with his teammate, Denny Hamlin, behind him. Matt Benedetto starts next to Denny Hamlin. And I think he's going to have quite the season. He almost won Bristol last year. And I have a good feeling he's going to win one of these races. Both in real life and in the series. Further on back a little bit, 2004 champion Kurt Busch. It appears he starts 23rd next to Dale Earnhardt Jr. But anyways, I say drivers this. to your cars. These cars rolling off. Time to start the race here in Miami. As the pace car rounds up, turn four to pull on off to pit road and start the race. Super Dude 24 is our control car. I'm sorry, control car, not control car. All right, to the race start zone. We are green in Miami. And now, Bubba Walls with the nose out front, followed by Jimmy Johnson. Johnson to the outside for the lead. He doesn't want to send it up too high. Middle groove is the best groove for these cars, middle and high groove. Miami is one of those tracks where each groove has its best and its highs and lows. Here comes Wallace fighting on the outside with the nose out front, but Jimmy Johnson starting to slow on that inside. He can't keep the run. Bubba Wallace is clear. Super Dude sits back to fifth. 20 laps in this race. I believe it's gonna get interesting. Saw some problem for Gannon's post. He hit the wall at turn four. He just ended up riding the wall completely. But anyways, Timmy Hill is up second, the back marker. Holy crap.
like this pack further on back. They're just... This is why I kind of like Miami. You get this three wide action racing on every groove so it's not cars just diving to the bottom. And it's close. It's crossed the line ninth. Just saw him. Cannon's post with the 11 on his back bumper. Hope he doesn't slide it up the track. Here comes Matt to Benedetto on Eric Jones. Squad 94 is trying to run 1, 2, and 4th, and 5th, but Jimmy Johnson's fighting Train Hunter with Truex behind Johnson. Truex and Johnson, at least as far as I remember, they haven't run 1, 2 since the Rove 120. Okay, that's probably not true, but the last time I remember them running 1, 2 was Rove 2018 when Johnson locked the brakes up on the last lap and spun it and collected Truex and how plain he got the first one of 2018. Stein up high. Wall is still with the lead. Eric Jones is starting is starting to fall back a bit. Eric Jones, he does not have he will not be returning to Joe Gibbs in 2021. He's currently a free agent. He's leaning on advice from Joey Logano that Logano used to drive for this same 20 car for Joe Gibbs. Didn't do so well, got a new Rod Penske, and he ended up winning a championship in 2018. Super Dude and Train Hunter, best buddies, side by side. Train Hunter's gonna take the spot away with a huge run. Jimmy Johnson might also pass Super Dude. Truex on the back bumper, here comes Johnson. Did I just see Timmy Hill at the wall? Timmy Hill just hit that wall there. No, he just got this. Squad 94 Motorsports is running 1 2. They're running 3rd and 4th. That might change if Super Dude can't hold off Johnson and Truex. Both, both of them are champions. Truex from 2017. Johnson won all championships between 2005 and 10. And all those years in between 2013 2016. And he's been winless since 2017's race at Dover, where he tied Kelly Arboro for stock car's all-time winless. Johnson to the high side. Truex is low. Train Hunter's going for second place on Timmy Hill. Three wide on back. Kozlowski with the be best of that run. Christopher Bell, a rookie, won his first Race here in, I'm sorry, not here, but he won Sonoma first rookie in the NASCAR YouTube Fire Fix Cup Series to get a win. Timmy Hill keeps third. Truex is gonna, I'm sorry, Timmy Hill keeps second. Truex is trying to take third from train under 94. 
Bob Wallace is just scooting away. Earnhardt Jr. He was kind of not in the best spot of, as far as I remember. F former teammates with Jimmy Johnson. Truex takes third and possibly second from Trenton to 94 and Timmy Hill. Hill has the better run on his high side. Actually, they're still dead even. Sabrina 24 is pushing his teammate with legend Dale Earnhardt Jr. Son of the Intimidators, coming up hard. Truex clears Timmy Hill for second, but it's still Bubba Wallace with his car out front. Can Wallace has been has ended up fighting enough to get the Confederate Confederate flag banned for all NASCAR events. So one of these key I guess celebrities, if you will, who've been fighting for equal rights for blacks, and he has the whole s sport supporting him. Sadly, we, not the, we don't have all the fans supporting him, but he deserves all the support he can get. The L. Hart Jr. is up to third. Here comes Trucks, he's on the back bumper of Wallace. To the in- uh, never mind, not to the inside yet. Dale Jr. is gonna try to fight them as well. And when two cars are side by side, that slows them down, and that allows the car behind them to catch up. Will Dale Jr. take that hole in the middle, try to thread the needle three wide? High side does not have the best run in corner entry, but on corner exit, you get quite the big launch from carrying more speed. Got a lap car up ahead. That's David Riggin. Brennan Poole's also there. Through X. He's not clear. Here comes Wallace. They're side by side. He has the push. Cars are on pit road. Here we go. Bubba Wallace stays out to keep the lead. So far, everyone gets on cleanly. Super dude, Gannon's post. They've all left pit road. I'm assuming. Oh, a little contact with Kane and Kurt Bush. I think Jane's gonna get off first. Yep. Oh, never mind. I forgot there were pit stalls up there. Looks like everyone's at, taking at least two tires. I'm, assu I'm assuming Bubba Walls is going to be in. Yep, he's in. Cars have to stay on that little access road until they reach the back stretch. You were to go on the track apron, that is a penalty. This track, as well as Indianapolis, are the only tracks that applies to. Look at Chastain! He's just got trying to split the middle. Where was, he, where was he crossed the line last? Oh, 24th. He's a oh, four wide! Four wide! Now two wide! Harvick and Dylan, as well as Kyle Busch, trying to fight. Chastain, Chastain clears him. Not, oh, he's, no, he's still clear. Now the pack spread out a bit. Who's out front? Let's see. I don't know. It looks like Jimmy Johnson's out front. I can't. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I was looking at the wrong number. I was looking at the wrong slot. Looks like Bubba Wall's still in the lead. 
Never did 24, he's up to second! Good for him! Okay, where, where is... Oh, I'm sorry, no. Super 24 is now the race leader with Truex behind him. And Super hold him off to be the first winner of all the YouTubers in the NASCAR YouTube Fire Picks Cup Series. So you see the rounds this turn four here, there'll be two laps to go left in the race. You've been caution free. I have to admit, I'm amazed. The way they've been pack racing, I would expect at least one caution. We've got quite the race going on back here. Oh, right. Junior and Truex, both the juniors. They're going for second, but no one's touching Super Dude 24. One and a quarter laps to go. White flag. Super Dude 24. They're side by side for second. Who can take it? So far, it's Dale Jr. He's barely clear. Now he's clear. And it's supposed to hit the wall earlier. He's doing well. Train under 94 fell back to 10th. Train under 94 usually does well until the pit stops occur. Here we go, off turn four for the final time. Super Dude 24 is the first YouTuber to win in the NASCAR YouTube Fire Picks Cup series. Congratulations, buddy. These race results. Dale Jr. finished second. Truex third, Gannon's post fifth, Pat Benedetto sixth. Uh, let's see, Bub Wallace led the majority of the laps. He finished seventh. That's good. Train under ninety four tenth. And it was half a second behind of Hamlin and half a second ahead of Johnson. Oh, uh, let's see. Lieutenant Champ Kyle Bush finished 14th. I think if I remember correctly, that's where he started. Race 3 winner Christopher Bills finished 23rd. Could do better. I think I saw Clint Boyer up here. He won the first race. Uh, oh, Clint Boyer, 28th. But anyways, if you guys enjoy, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, join Squad 94. Again, congratulations to SuperDude24. Oh wait, I forgot to check the point standings. SuperDude24 is now the new points leader. Plus, he's locked in for the playoffs. Back to Benedetto's second. And I suppose he was the points leader. He's down to third now. Dine went up to sixth. Oh, let's see, let's see. Boyer's twelfth in points. Bell's fifteenth. I forgot who won the other race. Oh wait, I can just dance scanning stuff. So. Oh let's see. Man. Elliot. Elliot is ninth in points, the nine car ninth. And just further on back, McDowell's last in points, followed by Kenseth, Kane, Nemechek, Kulajoy, Brennan Poole, David Reagan, Chris Busher, Wallace Eric Jones, Newman, and Bowman. Next race should be an even more interesting one. We're doing the Charlotte Roble. One of uh, 
NASCAR's hardest tracks race in present day because there's not enough data to help um pit crews figure out pit road decisions. But anyways, now until next time, to the loop.